Yo, when the last time y'all seen a grasshopper though? We're gonna start the topic in a minute while we wait for people to come in though. Look at this. Salute, salute. Let a couple more people get in and then um, we're going to start. Is that a praying mantis? Like, I said it's not a grasshopper. Whatever it is, it's green. I ain't no insect specialist. I'm a gang specialist now. <laughs> I'm a gang shit specialist. More viewers and we going up though. Salute. Yo, alright, so let's start to check in, man. Yo, much reaction TV, salute. Always active. Utmost respect and return. Most hated. What's good, my guy? CT, what up? Jekko, what's good? For the rest of y'all that's in here, make sure you hit the like button. It's the first time on my channel. You're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. So, um, I happen to be watching my man and the Sentence channel this morning. Shout out to 1090 Jake. And upon watching his video today, I said, yo, that's some good content. I should tell them about the first time I got into a cell extraction. I actually got this scar right here. Um, it was on Rikers Island in 2008. And um, I was in a box. Basically, what happened was I got into it the CO. And um, all right, if y'all was ever in the Beacon Box in 2008, for those that was there, <clears throat> if you remember, they opened the program in 11B for the lockout. That's when they started that. Uh, the people in the box get the lockout for one hour or two hours a day and watch a movie. They were saying like that's when they started the testing for the process that's in act now. So, um, long story short, I was one of the people that participated in the program in 11B. So now, I'm in 11B, I'm in the program. Most of the people that they tested that program out with were people who was like, didn't have a long criminal history. It was like their first time in the box, second time in the box, like classification wasn't too high or too low. And it was my first box trip, so I, I locked up and I got the chance to go there. This is around the time when I first met Schemo. Um, so now in 11B, it started by CO Load Holt was his name. Like Load Holt or Load Boat, something like that was on the ticket. But the nigga, um, the nigga, they used to have a little rule where if you had your window covered, because a lot of dudes, you know, at nighttime, you're being freaky. You're looking at your porno magazines. You're doing your little ones and twos. So you usually put a curtain up. You know what I mean? You cover the glass. You know what I mean? So if you cover your window during breakfast time, they used to get on some bullshit and wouldn't feed you. Like, they'll walk right past your cell, and they wouldn't feed you. Like, they wouldn't get you your breakfast. So this is the first time I splashed a CO over my food. Like this happened three different times in my incarceration period. Like in my bed of course, incarceration, I splashed not one, but three different COs behind like the feeding shit. But this is the first time. Um, He didn't feed me and it was on a Sunday muffin day, boy. I'll never forget it. It was the Sunday muffin too, I was pissed. So, um. The next morning, Monday, they gave us oatmeal. It was oatmeal. I got a mad early, bro. And sure enough, I was up ready. As soon as he came by with the breakfast, light was on, curtain down. He even made a joke of it. Oh, I see you're up today. You wanted to eat today, right? I said, yeah. Yo, boy, as soon as he put the plate on the, on the slot, I slapped my side of it. Boom! Now, this is like a little paper tray that has oatmeal on it that shit goes flying all over him y'all so when it goes all over him you know he starts to screaming and shit 
Oh, you bitch ass nigga, dawg. Yo, pop the sales. Like, he keeps trying to tell him to pop my sale. Like, you know that's a stunt. That's a stunt that most CEOs, like, pulled back in the day. Like, when they wanted to act like they wanted to smoke, they would act like they was going to pop your sale. Like, so the nigga standing in front of my sale. Like, yo, pop his sale. Pop his sale. Ah. You know them niggas ain't pop my sale. Know what I'm saying? So, um, what ended up happening was, he's talking mad shit. So now they cut to my sale. The captain comes with him and another CEO. Now the first part of the process is they ask you for a cell search. Like if you ever splash some a CO or anything, they come and look to see what you splashed and wait, whatever. But they, they come in your cell and they violate. You feel me? So they come for the search. I refuse to search. I'm like, nah, fuck that. Y'all not about to come in here and violate. I got mad books and magazines in here. Nah, hell no. Y'all not about to come in my shit. So I refuse to search. Now, when you refuse to search, they can't just let you refuse to search. Girl. So they suited up. I got suited and motherfucking booted, baby. <laughs> Word, they got suited and booted. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, they keep coming to their cell trying to talk you out of it. Yo, you sure? Yo, listen, you don't got to do this. Yo, what do you want to do? Da, da, da. Came about four or five times. You know, I got the old head. Yo, this is shout out to Calico Bo, which is Robo Just Brother. He was my neighbor at the time. Well, and um, he's an event. He talked to me. He like, yo, yo Jazzo, look, nigga, you better make sure you flood your cell so they can't use the electric shield. I start flooding it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he basically coached me through my first, you know what I'm saying, cell distraction. So I start flooding, flooding my cell. He like, yo, make sure you flood your cell. Yo, I tie the door up, jam the door up. So I start taking my slippers. You know those little skinny chancleta slippers? I take the little skinny thong slippers and I shove it in, in the side door. I wedge the sheet in the side door. I, there's a little loop on the bottom of a cell door. Like it got like a little square. Like it's just, just like a little square like that. I tied sheet that we made fishing line out of. I tied sheet, do that around the base of the toilet. You heard, I tried everything to try to jam the door. And um, you know what I'm saying? Now I got my whole cell packed up in the back of my cell. I done got, I took off everything I got on. Just my shorts, my sneakers, and I put mad bacitration, nigga, all over my whole body from head to toe. So that way, you know what I'm saying, it'd be hard to grab you, like, so, you know what I'm saying? That's how I'm thinking. <laughs> like, that shit did much of a difference, but, yo, that's my word, bro. Just the suspense, the waiting on that shit, like, hearing them coming. Nigga, that heartbeat. Do, 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 do. Yo, nigga, my heart was racing, nigga. So, you. Hear it like do 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 like they walk with a stomp like they fucking marching do 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 you hear them and a or a by kill yo scrap yo jazz are they coming coming nigga my fucking heart start racing nigga yo yeah I mean that bitch I'm shook heart racing knowing like I didn't see cell extractions but this is my first one personally so I'm like yo I know the ass whooping coming like but I gotta go out like you can't be a coward at that point once you make them suit up. Unless you did it to be a dickhead. Yo, you, yo, bro, real shit though, nigga. You gotta stand firm. You can't, you can't pump fake. Once you make them go through all that, unless you purposely wanted to pump fake them, nah. You gotta stand firm. So I went. They came to my door and they give you this last, this is your last chance to comply speech. Like, they come with a camera and it's the captain and they call your name. Yo, listen. Da, da, da. Tell you at this time you have a direct order to take the shit down. Uh, all right, inmates failure to comply. Da, 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 at this time, da, da, da. Ooh, 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 ooh. they talking all the shit, the technical shit, into the camera. And then you just hear shit. Crack such and such cell. I don't remember what cell I was in. So they was like, yo, oh. I hear them try to crack the cell. And as they try to crack the cell, mind you, I got all the shit in the door. So the shit is going like. This shit is going like Right? So They like, yo, there's something in the door He got something wedged in the door There's something in the door He got something wedged in the door They like, they keep pulling on the door now I don't know what I don't know what's going on I'm just telling y'all what I'm hearing You know what I'm saying? I'm inside though Nigga I'm just sitting there I'm at the foot of my bed I got my back foot at the edge of the bed to like give me a little thrust. 
I got my mattress folded in half in front of me like a motherfucking Sloan and Shield, nigga. And I'm just bash chasing up, waiting. You heard when that door pop? My thing was I was gonna hit the shield and just start wailing, trying to get the fuck out the cell, like trying to push back out the cell. So now, boom. They, they, you hear the mm, You hear them yelling, yo, leave it open, leave it open, leave it all open, leave it halfway, leave it halfway, yelling to the console. And, and um, then you just hit the door like, like the motor wasn't turning off. This shit was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. So as the motor's going crazy, bro, that shit, you just seen the light, nigga. Like, you just seen the light. It just looked like a, the fucking light. Boom! The door flies open. Yo, them niggas came flying in like fucking. Nigga, I can't, like fucking, I don't, like fucking something I can't even describe. Yo, like, like literally, bro. So as they come in, as I'm thinking I was going to bum rush them, nigga, as they hit me, pushing in, I automatically stand up. Like, as I'm standing up, the, the mattress shoots to my left. As the mattress shoots to my left, the, the nigga with the shield shoots to the left with the mattress. The second nigga falls with his head helmet, like, on my stomach solar plex area, which makes me fall. But, like, I'm halfway up because I fall, like, on my butt. But my top of my back was leaned against the wall because the bed is in the corner. You heard me on top of the bed. And as my back pulled, like my back was on the wall, I tried to scoot up. This thing is holding my leg, trying to pull me back down. This thing is on the side of the bed, grabbing me, bro. I'm just trying to pull next to you, no boy. It was on. I just felt this leg go flying. Nigga, poof, on the floor. These niggas on me. So now they got this arm, my left arm to this day, my left rotary cup, nigga. Fucked up to this day. Like, my shit still hurt. They bending the shit out of my left arm, but I got my right arm in between my legs, and I got my legs wrapped around it, holding it, like, but I'm laying on my stomach. So as they trying to get my right arm, they bending my left one out, They're like, give us your arm, give us your arm. And I'm fucking this, ah! you know what I'm saying, you know, yelling like, you know what I'm saying, like a fucking wild banshee, nigga. And um, finally, they give, I give in, I give them the arm and shit. So now, by this time between them, keep putting a knee on my neck, they pushing my face into the floor. My mouth is mad bloody, like my lip is busted. My mouth is mad bloody and shit. So now, after they finally get you, they put the, the, the they got me cuffed, they put the leg irons on me. Gangster, like they like, yo, stand up. I'm like, yo, fuck y'all niggas, ah, I'm talking my shit. So now, as they pulling me up, the bitch with the camera was like, you should've complied. Like, you should've complied. I just spit, mouth full of spit, blood, I just spit. Yo, boy, when I tell you that was the dumbest shit I did, nigga, they threw me back in the cell and went to work on me, nigga. Like, when I said they went to work on me, he hit me with the helmet. I had to get 11 stitches right here. Y'all can see it? That shit got me 11 stitches, nigga, and it looked like I ain't have no eyebrow for motherfucking... Three years, like, that shit was bad, bro. But, um, boom, after they hit my shit, my shit was split. My shit was fucked up. I go to the clinic. I'm like, yo, my wrist, my wrist. Yo, my wrist. I'm trying to get out the cuffs. They not stupid. They wasn't jacking it. You feel me? They ain't have none of them extraction niggas. Nowhere near me when them cuffs finally came on, man. But, um, that's how I end up catching the new charge of assault on staff. On Officer Henry, because about what was it like three months after that? One day I'm coming through the three point mag after a visit. I'm good now, you feel me? The nigga Henry, he was on the extraction. I, he's the one that I accused hitting me with the helmet, but I don't really know who did it. Um, I see the nigga Henry sitting at the desk, like, I ain't see the nigga from that day. You feel me? I see him sitting at the desk. So I'm like, Psh. he's like, all right, Psh. what? Like, you feel me? Little skinny ass, frill ass nigga talking shit. So when they put me in the three point, that nigga, yo, bro, when that nigga took me out the three point, I slipped my left cuff. I let that nigga have it. But I had to get that nigga with, on the paperwork. That shit said a hairline fracture. Like, I hit that nigga, I almost broke his fucking jaw. Word. But that's the only 
officer I ever like assaulted clean. You know, I was behind this right here. Well, that shit was nasty though, man. That was my that was the story of myself. First Excel extraction on Rikers Island. I've been through a couple of them, you heard? But might as well save that for another tribute. But your Rikers Island cell extractions, how they do it is it's five to six police officers with helmets on, shoulder pads, chest padding, thigh padding, gloves, and they coming in there. You know what I'm saying? Like now they use the mace more so, more than anything. They wasn't really doing that back in the day, especially if you told them you had asthma or something. They would, they wasn't doing that. Just the same way in Cali, I um always active. That's what's up. Yo, word. And how they come is um it's like they come in a line where the first person first CEO carries a shield and then they all line up behind him. And as the door cracks, they push him through. Like they push the first man through and they all come bum rushing in behind him. And um Bro, you know how hard it is to fight one man in a little close cell confined? So then now when you got four or five officers in there, five or six officers, because the last officer is like just a cameraman. They stand at the door with the camera. But they will drop that camera and get physical too. Like, that cell extraction shit is crazy. The craziest cell extraction I ever seen was from the Spanish blood nigga named M.O.B. though. That nigga put on a movie. Like, I'm talking about... See, I was running out that nigga cell with no helmet. Like, yo, yo, he got a weapon. <laughs> you feel me? They was running out that shit. That was the craziest uh, cell extraction I ever seen. Outside of that, though, them shits is just as common as, as, as a yard run. And you'd be mad if they happened before the yard run because then they ain't going to run the yard. But that'd be like your little excitement. That shit is like your UFC highlight of cell extraction because you know it gets the whole house wrapped up everybody's kicking the doors screaming you know what i mean it's crazy man it's crazy me like jail is really a different environment back against the wall swinging your celly on the top bunk ready to dive off good times now i've never been um extracted in a double bunk situation every time i've been extracted i was by myself uh, that should probably be easy if you had some help nigga you feel me? Back to back, that should probably be a little easier. Or feel a little more, feel like you got a little bit more support. Get some of them blows off your ass. That was my first other extraction. After that though, that shit became wrecked. Like, that shit started to become wrecked. Don't even understand how Rikers Island is structured. Niggas catch cell extractions for recreation, man. And like, I mean, it was so crazy because if you homie, they extract one homie, they gotta extract all the real rights. Not every homie always go, but your real rights, the ones that do what they always supposed to do, niggas show up and show out. Like, it should be a movie. It should be a movie. Yo, and listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. I got a good interview coming y'all way. So I will evidently, one of the CEOs from my steady housing unit or is no longer a CEO when I found him on social media. So right now I'm trying to, um, you know what I mean? Get a little interview from him so you can hear his insight or perception of me as an inmate and him as a CEO. I'm working on that for y'all right now, man. If I get that, Game over. That's that's lit. That's fucking fire. Niggas can't do that. That's 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 different. So that's my goal right now. That's what I'm trying to bring out, man. Uh, and it's more than one, so I shot. Hopefully one of them respond, man. Salute to that. Keep y'all fingers crossed. Yeah, word. Falsely interview CO from Rikers Island. That's gonna be the caption when you hear that one. 
Y'all know that's the one. Y'all know that's the one right there, you heard? That will be coming to y'all shortly, too. I'm working on it. And then when I put it into the universe, like it's gonna happen, it's bound to happen. I apologize, man, for the part, for the interruption of the good content yesterday. Wait, whoa, how I timed you out? Timed out. Yo, yo, if I timed you out, that shit was a mistake, bro. When I put the phone down, always active, that shit was a mistake, my nigga. How I undo it? I ain't even mean to do that shit. But I was lighting it. I guess I must have touched, touched that shit by mistake. Pardon me, buddy. You'll be back in a couple minutes. <laughs> yeah, though, son. Yo, bro, I think your channel will step up some. Yo, no, no doubt. No doubt, because then y'all gonna really see the authenticity and hear the authenticity. Because, you know, everybody can say what they did, what they do. It's harder to get in contact with a CO from 30 years ago. I just left prison last year. CEOs is retiring from that shit every day. They quitting, they getting fired from that shit every day. I got two CEOs now that was just my CEOs that don't work corrections already. So like I said, I reached out to one. I already spoke to another one. I'm trying to con convince them, but I got one for sure. I'm trying, I might be able to get y'all two though. Outside of that, that's gonna is I, I think that's just something different I could bring to the lane, bring to the culture because like I said, I'm more present. I'm more t relevant to the present of what's going on now. I'm more in tune with like, you know what I'm saying? The situation of what's going on now, you yeah? know? And that's not trying to take no shine or throw no shade at nobody else from their time. You know what I'm saying? Yo, straight static, what's up, bro? Yo, I officially got the gym, the location where we could go and get it popping at. And, um, you know what I'm saying? We promoting that. Guns down, gloves up. If it's really a disagreement, shit is really that difficult, that you don't like someone that bad, you feel that strongly about someone, well, here's an opportunity to get off your chest safely in a safe environment without a consequence or repercussion as far as like, you know what I'm saying? Ending up in jail or some beef. Oh, nah, he couldn't just leave it in the gym. Y'all get the addy when you actually got a fight, you heard? Or you actually have a fight in the ring. You're not trying to turn it into a spectacle because you always have people who aren't in it for the good reasons. You feel me? You also, you always gonna have people who aren't in it to see it go in a great direction, those would be the individuals to come and have a bad intent and make it go left. You feel me? So it will be by invite only. Everybody else will get it, like you, like content, like, you feel me? Not everybody's making it to a Mayweather fight, are they? All right, so the selected few will be allowed to see it present. Like, dudes got certain moderators they wanna bring, cool. Their little home team, cool, you know? So everybody's comfort, but on the same token, it's about respect. A CO job on the island can be stressful. Oh, it is. It's super stressful. A lot of COs on Rikers Island, man, endure so much verbal and mental disrespect daily. It changes them forever. Tell Stats 280 gave me five minutes for talking on that and yet that stuff. That's not a job for everyone. Jazzo, you funny as hell, bro. Good looking. Kobe gang, yo, you the dude that be promoting for um, the BX Fight Club? Because I'm trying to um, get a collaboration going with them, yeah, if possible. I got a couple ideas, some shit I'm working on. I got a 
I just need a couple more fighters. Oh, now nah, you're not with them? Oh, my. Yo, there's a dude that always used to come on my channel. Um, from, uh, from a, from a, um, from a, from a, from a, from a boxing gym out here. You know who you are. You always used to tell me to pull up. Yo, whoever you are, yo, reach out to me via email, man. Also, Bossley, you call me Bossley at Gmail. Reach out to me via email. I'm trying to link with you. I got, I got some ideas for this YouTube boxing segment I'm starting. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. This was just a quick, short tribute, quick story um, that was inspired by me watching in the sentence this morning. The name of the channel is End of Sentence, and that's 1090 Jake's channel. He's um, actually a shine boy. He's one of the hercs from, from Florida, another prison channel. So, if you ain't in tune with that, go subscribe and go check out my boy. He's doing way better than me over there with subscribers. But, you know what I'm saying? Been, he's doing his thing, man. Go fuck with him. He got some good content over there. Hey, yo, bro, you ever had any incidents with the barbers? Nah. Because most of the time I was cutting my own hair, I had the real goals, baby. I'm going to set BMG up a clash in the to promote it. All right, bro, I appreciate you. Thank you. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, once again, I hope you enjoy this. Like I said though, ladies and gentlemen, this is a quick short one. I'll be back later with more content. Hope y'all enjoyed the story about my first cell extraction. Yo, LOL, they acting like you saw, be real. Yo, bro, I know, right? These niggas is crazy. Niggas don't understand. I'm gonna end this live with this. Present day, I got my weight up. Not because of a story I did 30 years ago, like. And that's no shout at a real OG. That's a shout at the fake ones living off that. That's not a shout at the niggas that's still out here promoting positivity, working with the youth. That's for the niggas out here trying to manipulate the youth, doing whack nigga shit, looking like the youth, like. I'm just showing niggas the youth got a different vision. We do shit different, man. Hello? Hello. With that being said, I leave as I came and I always remain, man, on top of my game. Iced out? Salute.